Hey everybody, Dr. Susan here. I just wanted to go over with you. Um, we're gonna talk about four fasts. Four fasts that you can do um, to join us this week in this fasting week. So we've already talked about intermittent fasting. So just to repeat what it is, when you stop eating dinner on Sunday night, you won't eat again um, until at least 12 hours um, on Monday morning. So if you eat dinner at six o'clock on Sunday night, um, your fasting time would be from 6 o'clock Sunday night to 6 a.m. Monday morning. Uh, we encourage you to try to go as far as you can. So um, if you go two more hours and eat at 8 o'clock, so now you have a 14-hour fast. Um, and if you go to 10 o'clock, you have a 16-hour fast. So you see how that works? Ideally, we would love you to get to 16 hours um, and then have an eight-hour eating window. So like I said, if this is a new concept to you and you've never, never done it before, even if you did it once or twice next week, just to kind of feel the waters, test the waters out. We're gonna be doing this again, these group fasts again in the future. So you can just start flexing your fasting muscle by joining us one or two days and just see how it feels. Um, but then for those of you who have done our program and you've done intermittent fasting and you're a pro already, because I know many of you go to almost two o'clock in the afternoon and you haven't eaten, um, this next fast, number two, will be dinner to dinner fast or a 24 hour fast. So this would be you wouldn't eat till dinner on Monday night. So when you stop eating dinner on Sunday night, you won't eat again until dinner on Monday night. So for many of you who don't eat till about two o'clock, who are already intermittent fasting with me, um, it's just a couple more hours, you could do it. If you do have to eat something, if you have a hard time stretching out those additional three hours, you can have um, a little bit of avocado or, um, something, um, coconut oil, a fat source to kind of help you extend those three hours uh, that will not break your fast. So if you need, um, I, would, I would try to do without it, but if you really, if you really determined to make it those extra three hours or so and you just can't, have a, a fat source handy that you can have and that will get you through to the 24 or dinner to dinner fast. Um, ideally, dinner to dinner fast are excellent do one time a week. Um, or more. Um, you can even do them up to three times a week. But we'll talk more about that later. I could talk about fasting all day long. So now anybody, some of my patients here have already done dinner to dinner fast and it's not a, not a challenge for them. So for you, we're gonna push it to 36 hours. So when you stop eating dinner on Sunday night, you will not eat on Monday and you will go to breakfast on Tuesday. That's when you will break your fast. Then we ask that you eat Tuesday, regular eating window, eight hours or so. On Tuesday night, when you stop eating dinner, you don't eat on Wednesday, and you're not gonna eat till breakfast on Thursday. So if you're um, doing a 36 hour fast, you can, um, you'll be doing two within our five day period, okay? Um, please post all your comments or questions below. We're here to help you and answer questions. So we really encourage you um, to ask all the questions that you have. I know there are many, many myths out there about fasting. We did a video just before this um, to outline some of those myths. Maybe you want more information or whatever it is. We're here to answer your questions. This is introduce you to this. Um, modality of fasting again because it will lower insulin levels it will lower inflammation it will help with sleep it will heal your gut it's it's really endless like all the things um, that it can do um, lowering inflammation can lower blood pressure lower blood sugar um, lower so, so many things I mean inflammation is part of everything that's going bad in today's world every disease process is caused by inflammation so if you have pain um, you know, pain that, that doesn't, that you have trouble having it going away, fasting can very often be the answer to that um, without medication. Um, so I just wanted to mention that. We do have a couple more advanced, more advanced fasts. So if you are more advanced than the 36 hour uh, fast, please comment below and I will contact you privately because we have a fast mimicking you could do. We have an autophagy fast that you can do. And we also could do a water only fast, an extended water only fast. So. You know, I'm not gonna, I, I have a feeling that most people here are gonna be beginning fasters. So um, we're just gonna start there. But if you are more advanced than that and you do want more information, I am more than happy to give it and to guide you through those other three advanced fasts that I mentioned, okay? Well, we hope we're gonna see you um, next week fasting with us and please, um, Please put any questions that you have below and also please share with friends that we are doing this and if they would like to join in, they have to join our private page. There won't be any information about the fasting on our public page. So please, please invite them to join us and we will 
We grant those requests as they come in. All right. Hope this helps.